most expensive chocolate box in the world. And we are gonna open it and see what's inside. Linden Sprüngli is a public traded company and one single share of this company costs over $100,000. And when you own that share, you get this chocolate box every year. I got my hands on one of these chocolate boxes. Come here and no, I don't own a share of it. Let's see what's inside. But before we open this box, make sure to follow this channel for more food content. Let's go. Look at all this chocolate. Let's have a look. We have some chocolate with nuts. We have some tourist chocolate, some more truffle chocolate, obviously famous lint balls. We have not one, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bars of chocolate. We have not one, but two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven tables of chocolate, two big tables of chocolate, very thin chocolate and a huge pack of another truffle chocolate. So this is all the chocolate you get at the most expensive chocolate box in the world. All right, we're starting off to try the first chocolate and it's a chocolate brand of Linden Sprüngli, Piemonte. Chocolate with nuts. These nuts? <laughs> so they come in these little packages. It's this little block of chocolate with nuts inside. Oh my God. So good, chocolate is so soft. The nuts are full, big nuts with the crunch. The chocolate has a very sweet, creamy flavor to it, but not too overwhelming. Very good stuff. They also come in this bar form, so we can choose if we want to have the package or the little bar. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. Strong start, but I'm pretty sure we will have better chocolates. Next up, we have the first chocolate table. Cresta Classic Nougat Chocolate with creamy fillings. Let's try it. This is how the chocolate looks like. This is the inside. It looks pretty soft and creamy. Let's taste it. It's a very soft, milky chocolate outside. Immediately melts on your tongue. And inside it's filled with little nougat pieces, which give a little crunch when you bite it. This is a very good chocolate in my opinion. I will give this chocolate bar an 8.9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing, I love nougat, so let's go. Next up we try this chocolate table, it's extra milk. This is the chocolate, let's open this one. This is quite a heavy and big bar, in my opinion. This is 200 grams and the others are just 100 grams. This is how the chocolate looks like, let's try it. Very creamy, very soft, it has a little bit like a caramelized flavor. You don't taste that a lot of milk. Very smooth, very chill, very creamy, quite good amount of chocolate. This is pretty standard chocolate bar flavor in my opinion. It's pretty good though. I would give it a seven out of 10. I'm back. I have to revise my rating about the chocolate. I ate now a whole piece of it and it's definitely better than a seven. I will give it a 7.8 out of 10. Off to the next chocolate. Next up, we have the big chocolate. This is what the chocolate looks like. It's white with almonds inside. Let's try it. The almonds are very crispy, very nice texture and a very good taste. White chocolate isn't really my thing usually, but this chocolate is amazing. I'll give the chocolate a 7.9 out of 10. To the next one. Oh, all right, next up in chocolate heaven, let's see what we got here. And by the way, if you like this video so far, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I went through hell eating all the chocolate, just for you guys. Let's see what we have here. No, I'm not eating all the chocolate in one day. So, which one should we try next? Next category will be Lind Le Grand, which are these chocolate bars. Let's open one by one and let's see how they are. We're starting off with 33% nougat inside right here. This is how the chocolate looks like. Boom. I love nougat. It's crunchy. It also has almond inside. It could have a little bit more nougat flavor. That's why it's only an 8.3 out of 10. Let's go with the next one. 34% noisette. So with nuts inside. <laughs> Got it. Here's the chocolate. A lot of nuts inside, as you can see. Noisette, highly recommend. Really good, nutty, crunchy, delicious. 
I will give this one a 9.2 out of 10. Almost perfect chocolate. Let's go with the dark chocolate Nusset, I guess. Open up the beast. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This one breaks really good. Also with a lot of nuts inside, as you can see here. Definitely dark chocolate. Actually almost as good as the milk chocolate. You know what? I will put it on the same level as the milk chocolate. 9.2 as well. Absolutely delicious. We are soon done, but it's a lot of chocolate. The last one of Le Grand or is the white chocolate with almonds inside. This is how it looks like. This white chocolate, absolutely delicious, creamy. It's sweet, sugary, and with the almonds, it gives the nice crunch to the chocolate. I give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. This is all for the Le Grand category. Let's see what's next. Let's head over to the next one. Next up of the Lindt chocolate bars, we're trying Lindt milk and nuts. This is the little chocolate with these nut bubbles. Way more chocolate flavor and a very big nut. Uh, 7.6 out of 10. Next chocolate bar we try out of this huge box, double milk chocolate bar. This is how it looks like. Oh wow! Mm. This is how it looks inside. And the milk inside is actually a little crispy and I absolutely love that. Even better than I expected. 8.8 .8 out of 10. Next up, dark chocolate, cranberry, raspberry and almond. Let's try it. 300 grams of chocolate for you. And we have again dark chocolate. Inside are the little pieces. Yes, right there. You definitely taste the raspberry and the cranberry. 6.9 out of 10. Decent but not really my taste. And next up, in the chocolate taste test, I'm very excited about this one. Extra thin chocolates. They come in a very nice package. We have all the chocolate, very nice layered everything. These are actually really thin. I'm not even sure if I can show it like this thin, like a credit card. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. It's like a little paper actually. You just bite on it, it breaks in your mouth. Still quite sweet, a little bitter in the aftertaste. It's not my top favorite chocolate, but it deserves an 8.5 out of 10. If you haven't yet and you watched this video so far, subscribe to this channel, it helps me a lot and it's free for you. Next up we're trying the Lindor chocolate bar. It has these little knobs. Outside a little bit harder chocolate and inside creamy soft chocolate. Very sweet, very chocolatey like, very lind like. A 7.5 out of 10. Next up we have this chocolate bar with almond inside. Inside you can see the almond paste. Very distinct and strong almond flavor. A 7.2 out of 10. All right, next up we have dark chocolate. Look at this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I had it in the fridge, that's why it looks like this, but all good taste-wise. Very creamy dark chocolate, a little bit bitter, but still sweet enough. So it almost doesn't taste like dark chocolate. Actually really good, I like that one. I give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Pretty good dark chocolate. Next up, we're coming to Lindt Excellence. These are the dark thin chocolate, one with orange and one with coconut. It's actually not coconut, it's cacao. I'm starting off with the orange one. Very beautiful packaging. This is the chocolate. It's actually very thin, pretty good. People who already saw my previous chocolate reviews, like the Lindt chocolate balls, for example, know I don't like chocolate and fruity flavor. This is the same thing. It's chocolate with orange flavor. That's not really my thing. That's why I can only give this one a six. But that's my personal opinion. If you like orange and dark chocolate, I think you're really gonna like this. So now let's try the 82% cacao. I think this will be very bitter. I'm usually not the dark chocolate type, but let's see how it is. Extremely dark chocolate, like just dark chocolate actually. Let's try it. So this chocolate is not sweet at all. It's very bitter. It's not creamy, it's hard. It breaks a little bit in your mouth and at the end you get a sour aftertaste. Very special chocolate, I never had something like this before. I'm not the dark chocolate type of guy, but if you are and you want it really dark, this is the way to go. I would give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Alright, second last one is the tourist chocolate. 
of Lindensprüngli in Switzerland. This is how the packaging looks like. We have some pictures of Zurich and Ticino. And I think there are little chocolates inside. Let's open this up. All right, after you open the package, you can slide it right out. And then you have six small little chocolates. I don't know if you can see, there's actually two layers of chocolate. Now, if you take that out, Actually, I was wrong. There's three layers of chocolate, so it's six times three. I'm bad at math. It's 18 pieces of little chocolates, and each of these little chocolate has a Swiss picture on it. This one is the Matterhorn in Zermatt, but I think the tastes and the flavors of all these different chocolates are all the same. So let's try them. Having the chocolate right here, there it is. It's a little piece of just milk chocolate and with the Lindt branding on it. So this is a typical Swiss chocolate. It's more on the hard side. It's more on the mild side. It doesn't go very strong on any flavor. This is supposed to fit to every taste. Like wherever you come from, you will like this. This is a standard Swiss chocolate. And this is a good gift if you want to bring something from Switzerland. I will give this one a 6.9 out of 10. Really good, but nothing real special. And last but not least, the big package for the end. With the pralines inside. Let's see what's inside, how many different flavors we get. Very nice packaging, to be honest. There's also a little fancy band on it. Also definitely supposed to be a gift. Let's open this up. So you have a description for the chocolate inside, which describes all the different kinds of chocolate you find in this box. Do we have it like here? Yes. Then there's a gold platter on top of the chocolate, like this one. And then you have all the pralines, all the trough chocolate right inside of it. Look how beautiful they are layered. And they're actually the same chocolates as in this little package. They're just bigger and you have more of it. So let me try one or two new of these ones. Let's try the Volcano. This is the Volcano. No idea what it is, but it looks quite good. Let's try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Volcano was very chocolatey flavor, a sweet aftertaste, but more on the hard side. And let me try the Noisette. This is the nut chocolate, quite a big praline in a triangle. Mmm, oh wow. It has a lot of nuts outside and inside is a mild coffee taste and some crunchy bites in the chocolate. This one is absolutely good. In the end of it, I'm not a big fan of these praline chocolate boxes where you have a lot of different flavors. In my opinion, no flavor really stands out. I prefer buying the chocolate you like. So giving this whole package, I would say I give it an eight out of 10. All right, guys, this is it. This was the most expensive chocolate box in the world. There was a lot of chocolate. I filmed it over a long period of time. It took me over three months to do it. So if you appreciate this video, if you like this video, and if you like food, don't forget to follow this channel. Let me know your favorite chocolate brand in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm and see you guys next time. We love food, yummy.